Good morning and welcome to today's verse. Today's verse comes to us from the book of Romans, one of the great chapters in the book of Romans and in the, in the Bible, I think, from Romans chapter 8. It declares to us the love of God for us, how he has delivered us, how he saved us, and how he will keep us. And notice in verse 32 what it says. It says, he, God, he who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? God is our savior. Notice it says, he spared not his son. What does it mean? He spared not his son, but delivered him up for us all. That is, he didn't hold anything back. He didn't refrain from or refuse from giving his son. He didn't hesitate to give his son on our behalf in eternity past. God knew we were going to mess up. He knew that there was nothing we could do to save ourselves, and he deliberately made the choice to give up his son for you and for me. Why? Because he loves us. God is our savior. God is our provider. That is, I mean, if he has given his son to us as the greatest gift of all, obviously he would give us, he's bound to give us everything else that we need. He provides for us spiritually, materially, and eternally. He provides for us spiritually and that we can enjoy the fruit of the spirit and we may abound in love and and joy and peace, long suffering, uh, gentleness, goodness, faithfulness, meekness, temper. Against such, the Bible says, there is no law. He provides for us materially. That is, He provides all the necessities of life. Therefore, take no heed or take no thought uh, by saying, What shall we eat or what shall we drink or how shall we be clothed? God knows we have need of all these things, and He will supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus, our Lord. God has provided for us eternally. That is, he delivered us from death, hell, and the grave that we may be conformed to his son and live in the presence of Almighty God for eternity, forever and forever. These provisions are freely given. Yes, they are a gift from God. No man can ever say that he earned salvation. No one can ever say that they deserve the provisions of God, but God provides for them freely for each and every one of us that choose to follow him. Why? Because he loves us. <laughs> to God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement as you go throughout your day today, I pray that you have a safe day as we begin this work week. And then tune in again tomorrow, yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.